Hello there. Welcome to Let's Play the Kerbal Space Program. Uh, I am the Winter Owl on YouTube. In most gaming forums, I usually call myself White Owl. Uh, my real name is Matt. You can call me any one of those, and I'll, I'll, I'll respond to them. Uh, yep, yeah, this is actually going to be more of the Kerbal Aerospace Program. Uh, not so much the Kerbal Space Program. Because the reason that I picked this game up now... Uh, well, two things. They just added the moon to the game, so I can build a vehicle I can launch to the moon. Now that's just all kinds of awesome. And uh, also I learned that there's this guy, uh, C7 Studios, who makes modded parts for the game, and you can make space planes, airplanes, gliders, aircraft, wings. So, I mean, rockets are cool. Ro I, you know, I don't have any problem with rockets. Rockets are, rockets can be a lot of fun. But I really like these airplanes. At first, I was thinking that I was going to uh, really document the entire process of learning how to, to put together an airplane and how to fly it and figuring out how to land. Uh, I, I envisioned having uh, this entire design program and, and then you know our first landing would be this great success and it'd be this wonderful thing. This is the very first aircraft I ever put together in this game. And I went to see how stable it would be. Let's just take a look at this. Bam, take off. And after everything that I was reading about on the forums, all different people were having all kinds of problems. They say that their aircraft are unpilotable and they couldn't... I... The thing... Woohoo! Hang on! Hang on! <laughs> Tried to show off a little bit too much. Um, yeah, my very first attempt, the thing is just stable as you could ever want. Uh... It, it glides well. Here, let's shut that engine off. Let's glide. Uh, my very first attempt at landing, it worked without a hitch. Uh, I think some of this is there's the the game is not really optimized yet. I know that the, eventually the the developers want to officially add space planes to it. Uh, it's not really set up for that yet. Uh, so there's. Various things like you get way too much lift and way too slow in airspeed. That's a problem. Uh, there are a few other things, but... See, if you wanted to, you could just glide forever with no power. Oops, come on. Come on, make a liar out of me. I see how you are. Come on. Land. See, it's the, the most difficult thing about landing is actually keeping the thing on the ground. They just, they produce so much lift at so little speeds, such low air speeds. So, well, okay. Uh, so there goes uh, several episodes of the, the Let's Play just uh, short-circuited right there. I just put this thing together just to play around to experiment so I wouldn't be totally inept whenever I started the Let's Play, and it it works just fine. You know, it lands every time, it takes off. It's got a takeoff run of some like 30 yards or something like that. Meters. Everything in this game is meters, you remember that, not yards. Meters are different from yards. All learn Americans. <laughs> okay. So the airplane works. The airplane works. Um, I've played around with the rockets some. I'll tell you what my goal is here. The goal for this program. My goal is to take a space plane, launch it from the planet Kerbin that we have here, go to the moon land a vehicle on the surface of the moon, take off from the surface of the moon, then come back to the planet Kerbin and land land not just on the planet, but land on this specific piece of real estate here, Kerbin Space Center, that I just took off from. Uh, and in order to do, make this the, the White Owl version of this game, in order to just do it my own way, since I'm trying to be the, you know, the aviation guy here, uh, sandbox game. If a sandbox game 
you you have to set your own goals. You have to set your own limitations. Uh, there are here is uh, my limitations. I'm, I'm raising my right... Well, I would be... I'm, I'm figuratively raising my right hand and swearing right now. I can't take my hand off the joystick because you know, it has... Uh, this thing has no trim whatsoever. I'm going to do the Kerbin Aerospace Program. And my three Kerbinauts here... Ker Kerbal Astronauts, I think that you call them Kerbinauts. I think that's the... I think that's the, the way the cool kids do it. Will never, ever use a parachute. Ever. For any reason. Uh, the landings will be controlled and piloted, or they will be crashes. There, there is going to be no parachute recovery at all, for any reason. Uh, also, the various aviation parts in use here, the aviation that came with the aviation packs, uh, C-7's airplane pack here, the, the fuselage with the fuel tanks and the engines, uh, the game is not set up to to differentiate between uh, atmospheric uh, atmospheric vehicles and orbital vehicles, so I'm just going to give my own limitation here, and I will say that the engines and the fuel tanks that come in the aviation pack will only be used in the atmosphere, which in this game goes up to what is it, 30,000 meters, only below 30,000 meters. Uh, another limitation, if I'm having to navigate cross-country, I will say that I can, I must always have a minimum of one-third throttle. Uh, this is, this is just to, to get around the fact that there is a bug in the game engine that, uh, here I'll try to demonstrate it right now, I'll break, I'll break my own rule right now. Uh, okay, take a look here, I don't have an airspeed, I have a surface speed gauge on the top of the nav ball. Just dropped below 60 meters per second. I'll keep on pitching back. Let's take a look at my altitudes. That gauge up on top, it's 845 meters. Gradually pitching back. Keep the wings level. Surface speed is dropping, and now I'm climbing. Take a look at this. No power, no thrust. Still climbing. Okay, now I'm just pitching back some more. Dropping down below 30 meters per second and climbing again. At, at low altitudes here, this is a bug in the game. Now I'm just pitching all the way back, have the stick all the way back. The, the plane won't stall. You could, it, if I keep on doing this long enough, the plane will actually gain altitude with no thrust. It'll, it'll just slowly oscillate back and forth. As, as the airspeed increases and decreases with the oscillations, this will climb. See, we're about to go up above a thousand meters here. And with no thrust. So, um, I hope that in future iterations of the game they're going to fix that, because airplanes are not supposed to gain altitude with no thrust. That just flat out doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, and so, I'm going to say that any time that I'm navigating from one spot to another. Anytime that I'm doing anything with an airplane other than setting up the land, I'm going to have a minimum of one one third throttle. And whenever so that way I'll I'll actually be using fuel. Uh, yeah, I'll be using fuel and I'll run out of fuel and I'll have to land sometime or other. Take a look at this map here. Oops, hang on, I almost forgot. Yeah the airplane doesn't doesn't won't won't hold steady. Uh yeah, the, the planet Kerbin is very small. Uh, I've already determined that at one-third throttle, just taking off from the surface with this, just my basic airplane here, plane number one, so I've called it, uh, that moving at one-third throttle, I can get about 110 kilometers over the surface. So, uh, which... Kerbin is a small planet. It's not that small. It's, it's going to be difficult. I'm going to have to learn how to aim my D orbits in order to, to get this airplane back close enough. Back close enough uh, to the Kerbin, Kerbal, Kerbin Space Center. Kerbal Space Center in order to do the landing. I wonder if I can I'll go over here and try to get this runway.
So, okay, I'm giving myself these limitations here. Um, also, the parts that I'm using, I'm using uh, Nova Silisco's parts, the modded parts. Uh, I've used also some of the tuned SAS, with, I think it's ship aug, aug, I don't know, stabilization auxiliary system, something like that. I don't know. SAS, yeah, they, they keep your rocket from wobbling around too incredibly much, in theory. Uh, but yeah, a lot of Nova Silisco's parts, and plus the C7's, the, the aviation pack here, with the aforementioned limitations. Let's see if I can put it on the runway. I've done some just uh, before I started the Let's Play, when I was just experimenting around, and I was trying to get various settings, and I was setting up my joystick and everything. Uh, oh yeah, you have to get a joystick. It's it's these things are so much more controllable with a joystick. It's just not even funny. You have to do it. Uh, what was I saying? I got lost track. What I was saying. Ooh, line up with that runway, dude. Let's try and put it on this runway. Um. Okay, as far as I've gotten, when I was just practicing, I was just figuring the game out. Uh, I have successfully put a capsule into orbit around Kerbin. No uh, three separate occasions, I've made it to the moon. Uh, one time, I just exploded on the surface of the moon in a, in a big crash of dust. Boom. There's landing. What the hell is this music doing? I got I got last FM running, so I don't even know what's gonna what's gonna pop up in the music later on. I did that just because the the game is so quiet, it has no music going on, so it's gonna be weird stuff coming in the music. Oh well. Yep, sliding sideways. What is that? Okay, um, yeah, I've I've three times made it to the moon. One time I crashed into the surface of the moon. Another time I totally missed the orbit, and my my three Kerbonauts went off into deep space, never to be seen again. And the third time I did successfully put it into uh, an orbit around the moon. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We're pausing this for just a second, and because I'm not going to be able to deal with this music. I'm back. We got very mellow piano music going on now. Okay, yeah, back in the vehicle assembly building. I think the thing kind of shut down whenever I exited and I came back. <laughs> okay, so uh, my goal here is to document a lot of the learning process. Uh, I have never yet, I've never yet it successfully landed on the moon. I've still have a whole lot that I need to learn about uh, orbital mechanics, about exactly how to aim or orbit. And the only thing that I've done in the past, uh, getting things into orbit, were these small capsules. I have never yet... Um, this is my... instead of a capsule, I'm going to use this plane. If this plane doesn't work, I may have to redesign it, come up with a different plane. I have never yet put this plane into orbit. So, um, with, with these goals in mind, use this plane instead of a capsule, no parachutes, always controlled landings, we're going to get to the moon and we're going to get back. It is going to be a good time. So, what do I want to do first here? So, I'm going to try to launch this thing into orbit. I need a decoupler. Here we go. Let's put a decoupler on there. And let's just put some basic fuel tank and a basic engine on there. Just very slowly, gradually build up parts. Alright, is that enough to get to orbit? I don't think so, but we're just going to start small, you know? And turn the SAS on. Bam! And we're taking off. I roll over here. You want to point it at 90 and oh, 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 hang on. That's not going the right direction. <laughs> it's not looking good for the home team, guys. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We, I can recover this. Recover, 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 recover better. There we go. No, that's a, oh, oh, oh. Thing kind of keeps sliding for a while, doesn't it? 
<laughs> Stuff's still blowing up over there. Okay, lessons learned. You know what? That was unstable. <laughs> my three Kerb my three Kerbinats are all alive though, so that's happy. That's good. I want to relaunch. Maybe I can just keep it controlled here. Maybe I will not immediately aim over. Oh, grief. Okay, that's not working so well. All right, okay. Here, here we go. Here we go. Got it? No. Now I got it. No. We've got pilot-induced oscillations going on here. Okay, okay, okay. We'll take off. Ooh. Oh. Hmm. Oh, you see parts still bouncing over there. Okay, lesson learned. I guess this first design here, this ain't gonna work for us. What does it need? It's it's still it's too unstable. Let's maybe it's 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 so short coupled. We got this mass here. Hmm. We need more distance between the thrust and the mass. So it won't be so quite so wobbly. Let's do something like this. How about if we do... Oops. Do another stage. Okay, here we go. This one's going into orbit. And we're wobbling on the pad a little bit. And launch. Turn the SAS on. Stability augmentation system. I think that's what it means. It's keeps it's supposed to keep the rocket more stable. Oh, 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 oh. We had a good start there. I'm gonna try something. Okay. Okay. It's good. It's good. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, so close. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, that's. Oh, wow. We, we I think. We just don't have... I think we just need more thrust. More thrust to to overcome the... overcome some of the stability issues here. Let's do it this way. Where'd that tricoupler go? Where'd that tricoupler go? There it is. Bam, we'll turn on three-way symmetry and put that on there like that. More mass, more thrust. See what happens here. The really serious guys here keep track of the weight and the thrust and thrust to weight ratios and they really make a science out of it and uh, I'm more of just kind of slap it together, see what happens kind of guy. <laughs> Ooh, I think we're more sti- no, oh, no, no, no! Okay, roll. Let's do it this way. No. Oh, wow. That ain't working. That ain't working, boss. Uh, can I get rid of that stage? There we go. Oh! Poor Kerbals. <laughs> this is a violent game. Okay, okay, okay. I got an idea here.